Welcome. In this video, I wanted to go over the procedure for creating a RAM disk on a Mac Mini with an M1 processor. So this procedure will also work with other Macs, probably going back generations, at least on Mac OS X. But I'm just demonstrating on this computer, and I'm going to do a performance test on it, and that will probably be similar to what you would get on the MacBook with M1 processor and the MacBook Air with M1 processor. So if you find this video helpful and you're looking to buy a Mac Mini with an M1 processor, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. That being said, the Macs you can buy on Amazon tend to be the base models, and I'm using one that has one terabyte of SSD and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I have a command here I'm going to run, and I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll have this command and you can copy and paste it. And I have a terminal open, so I'll make that bigger here. So we need to run this diskutil command. So I'll copy this, paste it in, and it's diskutil erase volume HFS plus and then RAM disk in quotes and that's the name of the volume and then we have HDI util space attach space dash no mount space RAM colon forward slash forward slash and then we have a number here and this number is calculated as megabytes time 248 so I set this up so it'd be around 8 gigabytes so that'll be about half of my RAM so I'll run this and then we will have a RAM disk so if I go down to my finder here on the left side you'll see this RAM disk. So this is just like a flash drive or any other hard drive now. The difference between this and a regular hard drive though is this is on RAM as opposed to flash memory. So it's very fast. So I'm going to pull up the activity monitor here too. And I'll click on memory. And if we look down here, it says we're using 4.34 gigabytes of RAM. And I just created an eight gigabyte RAM disk. So it doesn't seem to use this RAM until you actually copy something to it. So I'll minimize this. I'm going to go to Blackmagic Speed Test, which is for testing hard drives. And this isn't a direct test of RAM speed. I mean, you could write software that you could maybe do that with. It's just testing the speed of it as used as a RAM disk. So I'll go to the gear here, and I'll say Select Target Drive, and I'll choose the RAM disk. I'll hit Open, and then I'll hit Start. So we're going to do a write test first, and we got about 4,400 megabytes per second. And then our read was 9,300 megabytes per second. So it's doing the next write test is 3,100 megabytes per second. So the writes are kind of slow, and then the reads speed up. And one thing I think it's doing is it's allocating when it's first running, and it will allocate that memory and then use it. So if we go back to our activity monitor down here, we can see now it says the app memory is 9.53 gigabytes. And if I go into my finder and right click on the RAM disk and say get info, the Blackmagic speed test uses about, looks like five gigabytes of space on there. So it looks like it doesn't use the RAM until you're actually using it when you create a RAM disk. So you could in theory probably make a RAM disk that has more RAM than your system has. I don't know that that's a good idea. But and yeah, we can see the file here too, I guess. So it's jumping up and down. So the writes here are about 3,400, and the reads are about 13,000. So as you can see, that's very fast. So you might say, what do you want to use this for? Well, if you need fast disk access for whatever reason, you can create a RAM disk if you have enough RAM to do that. I made a video previously where I was setting up a, it was a time-lapse webcam type of thing. But let's just say you have a webcam in general, where you have some system that stores an image on your computer, and then that gets shared out to the internet, and it does that continuously. Well, I don't want that to wear out my SSD doing that continuously, so you could set up a RAM disk and it just gets stored to your RAM instead. That being said, the write endurance on these SSDs is pretty high, so it could probably run a long time before it would wear out your SSD. But there could potentially be other sorts of software where you'd want to have your files on a RAM disk to speed them up. Now most of the time when you're working with files and you load them, the system can just cache those in RAM. So you may not get a huge speed boost. It's hard to say, but this is an option if you want to play with it. So now if you want to get rid of your RAM disk, you can just go into your finder window, select your RAM disk and hit the little eject icon and that will get rid of it. So if we go back to our activity monitor, let's see if that's released that yet. It may not. It looks like it has, app memory is down to 4.56 gigabytes now. So it looks like it releases it right away. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.